I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to go ahead and start off with an order that I placed off of the Marc Jacobs website because they were doing a 25% off sale on the entire website and I was eyeballing their newest seven pan eyeshadow palette on Sephora for a while and I was like just hang tight because it'll either go on sale on Sephora or the Marc Jacobs website. So I went ahead and I picked it up. It's the iconic multi finish eye palette in 860 extravagance which has the packaging with the stripes on it and I've worn this palette and I really like it. I'm super glad that I picked it up. It kind of reminds me of a, a smoky, sultry kind of fall vibe is what it gives. So there's the front with the stripes and then the back has the shades and the names on there and then inside are your seven eyeshadows. There are two solid matte shades which are the matte brow bone and kind of a transition shade. When I used this I did use this deeper shade in the crease which has got some shimmers in it and then this shade is also a shimmer and then you've got three really beautiful sparkly shades. They have a nice pigmentation to them. I do have to kind of grab my brush in there to pick that product up but it's very high shine and metallic and they look really pretty on the lid. So I'm super happy that I got this guy and got it on sale. I really liked the look that I did with this palette. It looked more fall than kind of summery though. And I think this is their summer collection. Not 100% sure on that, but there's the first four. And then these other three. And the last couple seven pan palettes that I've purchased from Marc Jacobs have been really nice quality. Like they're very buttery and smooth, easy to work with. They have nice pigmentation to them. So that is the Marc Jacobs 860 Extravagance Eyeshadow Palette. I should tell you how much product is in here. Seven eyeshadows times 0 .04 ounces a piece, which is which is a decent amount. Also from that Marc Jacobs sale, I purchased the Marc Jacobs Enamored with Pride Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick, and I've always wanted to try these. I've swatched them a couple times inside Sephora, and I never like got them. They looked really pretty, but I didn't get them. But this particular shade, like, was kind of calling to me, like a really pretty baby pink color. So this is the packaging right here, and again, this is no, I didn't say what it was yet. Uh, Five sixty eight pink. Kiki is the shade that I got and I there were three or four shades that came out with this collection and these actually look like lip glosses but they have a bullet in them which is kind of confusing because like I figured that this would be the bottom half and this would be the top half but it's the opposite and the mechanism is a click up that doesn't like scroll back down and this is a really glossy stick um I'm not crazy about it it has a slight a very slight peppermint um, smell to it but it's very gritty like I can feel it really well on the lips the grit that's in there so there this one this particular one has a lot of glitter in it some of the ones that I swatched prior to in the store when these products initially launched were really smooth this one is not very smooth the shine is really pretty and all that but it's very gritty and this particular shade this uh, pink kiki kiki shade doesn't have a lot of pigmentation to it I was hoping that there was more pigment to it and it's almost it's very faint so I'm not nuts about this I kind of wish I would have got a different color maybe I would have liked it more or maybe one without the glitters in there because they are very strong glitters that you can feel on the lips but that's the Marc Jacobs what I call it here the enamored hydrating lip gloss stick and that is in pink kiki 568 right there I also decided to go ahead and pick up an old favorite and that's the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in 62 Odyssey. I went to use my Odyssey that I had in my collection and it was pretty dry. Um, prior to, I had gone through several of these and they, they discontinued the other shade that I loved which is what was more of a kind of a mossy green color. Oh, I love that eyeliner for the waterline and they don't sell that shade anymore. Um, but I decided to go ahead and get a new one of these because like I said, the other one that I had was quite dry. And this is quite dry as well. And this isn't the first time this has happened to me. I purchased two of these off of the Marc Jacobs website uh, maybe a year or two ago and they came very dry as well. So I don't... I don't know what's up with that because I remember initially when these first came out, they were much, uh, much creamier. But they're harder to get on the waterline because they're drier. It's almost like they're, you know, drying out quicker than they're supposed to. 
but because of that really dry factor I know that's what makes them so bunch proof as well so it's kind of like a <laughs> a give or take I just I just wish that they were a little bit easier to get on the water line they used to be um, they used to never be this dry but I love this shade. Then I've gotten quite a bit of inquiry about the brand Lethal Cosmetics, which is an indie brand based out of Berlin, Germany. And so I decided to kind of look into it. And then Temptalia, who I've been following for years, she's like an OG makeup connoisseur <laughs> here on both um, Temptalia.com and Instagram. Um, she had recently purchased a bunch of their products. And so I decided to go ahead and place an order with them. The shipping was quite expensive because I hadn't purchased over, I think it was $150. So I didn't get free shipping. I think it was 19 bucks to ship it but it got here really really quick so I purchased one of their palettes I got the after dark palette which is a 90s inspired shadow palette with a free sticker sheet yeah it came with some stickers um the other palette that I wanted to get uh, was sold out so I really do like the palette that I got so I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on some of the other stuff to see if it comes back in stock and maybe grab a few more items it comes with their standard kind of uh, cardboard packaging to put eyeshadows in they sell these in singles as well and there's little holes on the back that you can pop the shades out the shade names are not inside the palette on the back of the palette or on the back of the pen um, of the actual eyeshadow they are only listed on a sticker on the sleeve that the palette comes in so I'm gonna have to either write um, the names on the back of the shadows because I don't like to keep the sleeves I always think it's a it hinders me <laughs> when I go to grab a palette to use it that I have to pull a sleeve off. Anyway, um, these are the shades that come inside the palette right there. Let me try to list them for you. Um, you've got Frequency, which is a matte. You've got Arcade, which is a shimmer. Replica is a matte. Outrun is a matte. Sequence is a matte. Proxy is a matte. Quick Save is a matte. Mainframe is a shimmer. Overdrive is a shimmer. Synth is a shimmer. Caps Lock is a matte and Night Call is a matte right there. And this is actually the palette that I have on my eyes today. And I think the look turned out super pretty. The shadows are really easy to work with. Their mattes are very pigmented and they blend really well. They're buttery with substance. And the shimmers just have a really nice reflect to them. So I'm pretty impressed with these shadows uh, so far. And again, that's what I have on my eyes today. I think that the look turned out super pretty. Let's give you guys some swatches here. I feel like I kind of have a rasp in my throat, so I'm sorry. I think it's allergies, like, oh my gosh. Um, people have been haying, my brothers have been haying, and allergies, man, from like hay dust and stuff like that, from feeding horses, is just like, it's in my throat. <laughs> so there's the first four um, shades right there, and then these next four. Their mats are just, they're just so nice. I really like them. Aren't those pretty? I think they're so pretty. Look at how like look at how shiny those shimmer shades are. And then this last row. I love, I love this purple shimmer shade. It's just stunning. They're very pretty. This shade I should swatch out a little bit better. But those are the swatches for the Lethal Cosmetics After Dark eyeshadow palette right there. And again, this is what the packaging looks like. Also from Lethal Cosmetics, I got the Wavelength Pressed Highlighter in the shade Ionic. And there's 0.15 ounces of product in here. And this is the highlighter that I have on my face today on the, all the points where I like to put highlighter. And this is a really pretty highlighter. It blends out nicely. Let me see if it's magnetized in here. It is not magnetized, so it's fixed in the pan, so you cannot remove it. Um, but it's a really pretty icy highlighter. I, initially, I thought it looked more champagne, but on the skin, it kind of reads more icy. And it's very pretty, so I'm glad that I, I picked this up as well. Look at how pretty that is though. It almost has like a, a little bit of a translucency to it, which you can kind of see your skin through, which is really nice. So that's the Wavelength Highlighter, also from Lethal Cosmetics, and that's the shade Ionic right there.
And then I placed an order on the Sephora website because I wanted to get the Makeup Forever Aqua Seal Waterproof Liquid Converter. A bunch of you guys recommend this to me to make the um, wet liners or like the Suva Beauty kind of liners that are activated with water to make them waterproof. So I got this guy. And I'm still riding the struggle bus <laughs> because the Aqua Seal doesn't actually mix with either the Suva or these. Like it just will sit on the top. It will not mix with the actual product. I don't know what the scoop is with that, but it'll kind of form a hard surface, but it will not mix with this product. So then I put the liner on and then I dabbed over it. I put um, a little bit of the Aqua Seal on a brush and went over the liner, which that does, you know, help to make it waterproof. It's not full bud budge proof or anything like that, but the problem that I have doing that is <laughs> when I and I just tap I just lightly tap the aqua seal over the liner after I put it on and it still kind of picks it up a little bit and I'm like I don't get it <laughs> you don't pick it up in the pot but you're gonna pick it up on my eyes so I'm still gonna toy around with the aqua seal um, and I'm still riding the struggle bus with how to make these a little bit more waterproof. These wet liner ones from um, Glisten Cosmetics I love this shade double denim it's what I have on my upper lid today um, it's so pretty, but these can get so messy so quickly. Like, the, they're so saturated with pigment. Um, so I do have to be really careful with how I kind of use them. I, w I was hoping that I could just put, like, a drop of Aqua Seal inside the little pot, mix it together, boom, waterproof eyeliner, you know? Nope, it didn't work out like that for me. <laughs> but I did get the Aqua Seal, and there's many uses um, that I can find for Aqua Seal, so that's no big deal. But I also wanted to try the new concealers from Makeup Forever. And those are the new Matte Velvet Skin High Coverage Multi-Use Concealer, and it says on the packaging, 24 hours. I got two shades. I got 2.1, which is the lightest shade, and then the next shade down that had the cool undertone, so that was 2.3. So a total of 0.3 fluid ounces of product. You're getting a pretty decent amount of product in there. This is the box packaging for the shades that I got. And this is the concealer that I have underneath my eyes today. I mixed these two shades um, because 2.3 is a little bit too dark for me. And 2.1 right now, like the middle of the summertime, is just a little bit too light. I'm sure it'll be fine for the winter time. So I've been mixing them, which is what I have to do a lot of the times. Like um, the Dior, I purchased two shades of that and I have to mix them kind of for the summertime. So let me give you some swatches. This first one is 2.1. It comes with one of those large doe foot applicators. So this is the lightest shade in 2.1 and it is pretty light. And then the other shade is 2.3 which has got the cool undertones. Um, I believe the lightest one is just a neutral undertone and then the next one down from this shade was this one for a cool undertone so that's why I got that one. And you, you can see it's quite a bit darker than the other shade. So I'll blend them out and then mix them together. And so far I've really been liking it. It's got really good coverage. Um, but while still being like a really decent coverage, I don't feel like my under eyes look cakey or really makeup-y or dry or anything like that. In the winter time, it might be a different story, but the middle of this humid summer that we have going on right now, it looks really, really pretty underneath the eyes. So not mad at it. So there are the two shades not mixed. So we got 2.3 and 2.1. And then if we mix them, that's about the shade that's underneath my eyes right there. And you can see how much coverage. Look at it, it just covered up my freckle there. And it's very comfortable. Look at that. So, so far, so good. Really enjoying that. So those are the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin High Coverage Multi-Use Concealers right there. And then lastly from Sephora, I purchased another one of my beloved, most favorite, most used, most loved lipsticks. <laughs> and that's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Kissin' Fallen from the Lipstick Tree Hot Lips Lipstick in Kim KW. Um, this is the box packaging right here. It's the shade that I have on my lips today. It is just my most used lipstick ever. The formulation is so pretty, comfortable on the lips. It has a really pretty shine to it. It's like a perfect kind of nude with a slightly pink hint to it. I've actually used up an entire tube of this and then I have a tube that's just got a, a little nub on it. And I actually have two tubes with just a little bit of a nub on it. So I went ahead and I got another one of these guys. Again, this is the shade Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury. I have it on my lips today with uh, Lancome's Bronzel Lip Liner, which look at how short my lip liner is. <laughs> I probably need to get another one of those because I love, I love that Bronzel Lip Liner. But for what it's worth, I'll swatch it on my hands. 
and again that's what's on my lips and I love this lipstick I adore it I want one everywhere because <laughs> it's just it's just so pretty and then I placed an order on the Target website for some essentials and then also some makeup items because I just haven't been going to town and I really wanted to get this palette it's the elf retro paradise 18 piece eyeshadow palette and i saw it was a collaboration with i think a bunch of influencers and i saw it from easy neon uh diana here on youtube who i just absolutely adore her so she helped in collaboration with this palette and this is a really nice palette from elf i was really surprised by it um the mattes are pigmented and they blend out really well some of the shimmer shades are a little bit more stiff not all of them like this purple's a little stiff and the white but you kind of jab your brush in there much like that mark jacobs palette to pick up the pigment and they go over the base that I use which is just kind of a um, foundation I have been using this uh, covergirl and Olay simply ageless foundation with SPF 28 as an eyeshadow primer for quite a while I love it as a concealer as well but like I have got quite the dip in there and I love using it for eyeshadow primer so I use these directly over this I actually use all of my eyeshadows directly over that but um, I'm really happy that I picked this up I really want to get the uh, Jay Kissa one as well but they didn't have that on target.com but I want to say this was like 15 bucks. Ugh, I'm, I can't remember exactly, but it wasn't too super expensive for 18 shades. And then I should tell you how much product is in here as well. Does it say? On the front it does. There's a total of 0.67 ounces or 19 grams of product, which is quite a bit. So we've got a pretty good array of shimmers and mattes, both light, medium, and dark, which is what I like to see in a palette. And because of like the brights, the warms, just the array of shades... Um, you can really get a ton of fun looks out of here. I like the kind of random combination of colors. And gosh, their matte formula has gotten really, really good. Very creamy, very pigmented. Quite impressed with it. I ordered a couple other palettes too, but they, they split my target order to two, so I haven't gotten the other box yet, but... Those are the first four. We'll do these guys. This one here I used on my lid. That one's a little bit flaky. You can kind of see right there. Look at how smooth some of those are. And these next guys. I love this purple shade. It's kind of that duo chromey color that I absolutely adore. This is a matte purple. This shade is that duo chromey shimmer that I really adore. This is a pretty matte purple though <laughs> as well. Oh my gosh, I am so sweating with these lights and it is super hot outside and humid like super humid so if i'm shiny and i'm melting i apologize i just hope that eyeliner that i put on hangs in there <laughs> it doesn't run down my face <laughs> oh. and then these last two which is that dual chrome purple and a brown or it's almost like a black yeah it's a black soft black But how about those swatches, right? For that palette right there from e.l.f. I'm just really impressed with it. And what a fun, what a fun, like random color combination, which makes looks super fun, I think. So that's the e.l.f. Um, Retro Paradise 18 shade eyeshadow palette right there. I dig it. So glad I got it. And I got it off Target.com. And then lastly, for the things that I purchased this week, I got in my second Sydney Grace order from their Christmas in July sale. I purchased two of their nine eyeshadow bundles. I got Raspberry Kiss, which is this nine group right here. And then I got Mountain Trail, which is this group right here up in the corner. These products I hauled last week. Um, but I got those two nine pan bundles and then I got the Summer Days eyeshadow palette for free. That was their uh, promo that they had going on that day. And then the next day, I think it was 25% off. They were having a good deal on their singles and I had like an astronomical amount of singles in my, my bucket and then I forgot to place my order. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I missed out on that sale. But anyway, I got these two bundles. I haven't worn these shadows just yet, but I'm going to swatch them for you guys anyway. So you got the Raspberry Kiss and the Mountain Trail uh, bundle here. Um, I will say I did purchase this magnetic palette here from Sydney Grace. And this is just a note to all brands <laughs> who make magnetic palettes for their eyeshadows. Um, make sure that your pans utilize the entire space of your whole magnetic palette. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to move these three shadows over here and they don't, they don't fit. You need to make it a little, a little bit bigger. <laughs> and then also they don't fit going downwards either. Um, so I was going to put another nine pan. I was going to depot the two nine pan palettes that I got during the sale and put them on this bottom portion and only two pans can fit right there, um, in a line. So just something to make note of, something to be aware of to make sure that your shadows fit evenly in an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> anyway, let me swatch these for you guys. So here's Raspberry Kiss Bundle right here. And Sydney Grace makes some beautiful eyeshadows, like super beautiful eyeshadows. Their, some of their shimmers are so metallic. Wait till you see some of those shades in that Summer Days palette. Look at that though. Pretty, right? And then these guys. Oop. And they're just smooth too. Shimmer. So that's the Raspberry Kiss bundle right there. And then here's the Mountain Trail bundle right here, which is greens, um, kind of olivey greens, which I love. Whoa, whoa. It's the first four. And these next ones. I'm so like kicking myself that I spaced out placing that order with all those singles that I had in my bucket on the sale. <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> and then this last shade, which is beautiful. That's that elf black that I didn't get off very well there, but that's the Mountain Trail bundle and the Raspberry Kiss, all from Sydney Grace. Look at those swatches. So beautiful. And then this is the Summer Days eyeshadow palette that I got from Sydney Grace for free when I spent over, I want to say it was like 50 bucks or something like that. But, oh, there are some pretty shades in here, like a really beautiful neutral palette. There's some kind of, it kind of leans warm mostly, but a little bit of berryness to it as well. How pretty they are. I just think they're so pretty. And these guys. There's a nice range of mattes and shimmers in here as well. These two colors are my faves. They are so high shine. Look at that. Ooh. And then that last shimmer right here. Look how beautiful copper. Look at how pretty those are. So that's the Summer Days eyeshadow palette, also from Sydney Grace. Right there. So that's everything that I got in that I purchased this week. I did get one PR package, which is super exciting, and it's from Essence. Um, Essence makes one of my all-time favorite black eyeliners it is the super precise eyeliner long lasting and waterproof um this is one that i have worn for quite a few years it's 2.99 at ulta and sometimes they have it on sale on top of that i have gone through so many of these i love the precision brush that this has so much so that i've actually saved um used up ones so that i could use them with like those cake liners so i've saved a couple of these just so that i can use them to apply either gel liners or like these um wet liners like that that's how much i like the brush tip on this 
this uh, product, but it stays really nicely. It doesn't run on me. It's really nice and black and opaque. It isn't super, super matte, however, but it's not really shiny either. It's kind of somewhere in between. So anyway, I love that eyeliner from them, and they reached out to me and wanted to know if they could send me some PR products, and I was like, yes, I, I love some Essence. So they came out with these mascaras, and I think these are new because I have not seen them inside of Ulta, and I got to show you how cute they came. There was a little panda bear and he was holding the two mascaras. <laughs> I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. So I'm actually wearing one of these on my eyes today and that is the Bye Bye Panda Eyes, which is why they were in a panda. So this one says long lasting smudge proof formula. And the brush on this particular one, this is the Bye Bye Panda Eyes. I have no flaking, no transfer. I just wore it today for the first time. So for me, what's gonna be interesting is to see if it washes off easily. It does not say waterproof on here, so I'm hoping that it does, because me and waterproof mascara, man, I'm just not down with the waterproof mascara. I'm like, oh, there went all my eyelashes, right? <laughs> so we'll find out on that, but the brush on this is really nice. Like, do you guys remember a mascara that L'Oreal used to have? This was years ago. It was called Feather Lash, and I used to think that it gave me the most natural, pretty feathery lashes. I would use like one or two coats. It, it reminds me of that, but this has got more volume and length than that one did, but it still looks feathery. That's kind of how I can explain this mascara. So again, this is what I'm wearing today, and I, so far I've had it on for I've had it on for like six hours. No smudging, no flaking at all. So, so far so good on that. We'll find out when I wash it off <laughs> how that goes. And then the other one is called What the Fake Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara Plus Volumizing Fibers. I have not worn this one just yet, but this one has got a smaller brush and it has quite a bit more product on the wand compared to the other one, but they're both natural bristle brushes. And I've heard really good um, things about Essence mascaras. I know there's a couple that uh, people call Holy Grail mascaras from Essence. And again, the price point on Essence products is so good. And a huge thank you to Essence for sending that over with the cutest little panda bear holding mascaras. I mean, can it get any better than that, right? <laughs> and that is everything for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Stay safe out there and I will see you guys later. Bye.